Uh, very warm welcome back to it. Your feel good breakfast show live on SABC3 on this glorious day in South Africa. Freedom Day, the 27th of April. Thank you so much for choosing to start your day off the right way. Uh, and of course, starting with your feel good breakfast show. Now, of course, look at that beautiful South African flag. So much to be proud of uh, when it comes to being South African. And today we commemorate Freedom Day, which is more than just a commemoration of South Africa's first democratic elections in 1994. It really is an opportunity for us to reflect on the liberation movement of the country and to salute those who dedicated their lives to the struggle and persevered even when resistant, uh, resistance rather seemed uh, so futile. Now, 2020 celebrations are being commemorated in many different ways under the theme Solidarity and Triumph of the Human Spirit in these challenging times. What a fitting theme. And of course, joining us via call right now to share more on how the nation can observe this occasion amidst the ongoing COVID-19 crisis is the Deputy Minister of Sports, Recreation, Arts and Culture, Miss no Ma, uh, Noktawe, rather, Noktawe Mafu. Uh, Deputy Minister, let's get into it this way. Giti yinde lentela esi hamba yo o yinde giti lentela esi hamba yo o chumantela kubalante di bakhe Debbie the Minister, thank you so much for that. What a beautiful way to get into it. I love it. You've brought so much feel good this thank morning. You. Now, we know that the theme is, is a call to harness the power of the human spirit. How can we use this example of the liberation movement in order to face these challenging times? Look, uh, good morning to the, to the listeners at home. And... Uh, uh, Ramadan Mubarak to the Muslims in the, in the country. Mm. You know, it's a, it's, this, this is a very important day, a day that we can't just take for granted. But we are celebrating it in a different way. It's a new normal because of the COVID-19. It will be a virtual celebration. But for me, one of the most important things about it is that it reminds us that you know, much as freedom is a right, but it's also today we are reminded that what you also do in solidarity with your fellow, you know, Africans, mm -hmm. your fellow South Africans, mm -hmm. is actually another way of showing freedom. Right now, our heroes are those health workers, are those essential workers, are those that are putting their lives on the line to protect us South Africans to be safe on, from this virus. And they are the heroes of this uh, freedom today. And we cannot thank them enough for actually stand there and, def and defend us from this. I think the question, uh, you know, of, of why almost even becomes so irrelevant because we know there are so many reasons why we need to be commemorating Freedom Day. But why do you think it's so important for the country to continue uh, to celebrate it in this way? Look, we, we come from a past that we, we don't really want to dwell on it much, but mm. we can't say we forget. We come from a past where at, a, at, at some point in time, the majority of this country did not take part in the, in, you know, in, 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 in the elections of this country, which is part of freedom. And 26 years ago, for the first time, we actually went to the polls, which signaled a democratic dispensation, a non-racial dispensation, a non-sexist dispensation. And of course, it did not come easy. Mm. We actually remember mm. that before we, we got there, there's people that actually laid down their lives. We can't forget a young man, a 23-year-old Solomon Mashangu, who had to be executed. And when he actually was going to the gallery, mm. he said, my blood will nourish the free, uh, the freedom of this country. And, mm. and for those people, that actually made it possible. We have to pause, take a moment, and thank them to bring us where we are. And we must also remember when Madiba, in his farewell speech, when he said, let us never 
be mindful of the terrible past from which we come from. Memory should not be used as a means to keep us shackled to the past in a negative manner. So, as we commemorate, we actually take time to take back in time and remember that we now top of a freedom day, but it was not always like this. Mm. We, we have yeah. to be reflective. We have to be reflective. Now, this year, 2020, marks 26 years since the uh, democratic elections here in South Africa, as well as uh, 24 years since Nelson Mandela, you know, uh, you know the, put the Constitution into law. Why is today such an opportunity and such an ideal one at that to reflect on the progress made and the transformations that our country has gone through? Look, we, we've, we've gone through um, a lot a, a lot has changed in the country. Mm -hmm. A lot still remains the same. There, 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 there is a, a lot that we can, you know, sit and say, yes, yeah, we have come far, and this we have done so well. But of course, there are things that we still need to do better as the country. We still have people that are going to bed hungry. We still have high unemployment. The economy is still not shared among the majority of the people. But be that as it may, the political freedom that we have received is paving the way for us to be able to deal with these things in a better way that we would have dealt with if we didn't have the political freedom. The work that has to do with freedom continues. It doesn't end with, obviously, all of our icons and our struggle icons and uh, liberation movement icons that we've known who've walked this walk. It is on every single one of us South Africans to continue holding this torch, right? Thank you so much for this, uh, Deputy Minister, for your time. And I mean, I think you and I have to get together. We have to make an album because we have amazing yes. voices. Mm. And uh, please, please. we have to sing this song and just put on record this scene in Lela. Yeah. How about that? Yes. yes, we have to do that. <laughs> and just remember, <laughs> I, I, I will be the lead singer. You will be the backup singer. I will be the backup singer. <laughs> <laughs> in the background. Don't worry yes, about it. Yes, thank you so much. Then, thank you. Again, for... then, remember, the president will be speaking at 12 o'clock okay. today, uh, sharing with us the message for this important day in the history of the country. Thank you so much, Ms. Murphy. Do remember Thank to you. stream that on SABC News or on YouTube. That'll start at 10 o'clock this morning with the president addressing us. Let us celebrate the heroes that fought for our freedom and brought us to where we are today as we take stock and commemorate and reflect and remember all the wonderful things that our country has achieved and the work that lies on each and every single one of us to make sure that we carry the torch and we move towards a better place for the country. Happy Freedom Day.